Let's find out how to add textures to your products on the fly. Prepare images. I've done that with the help of Photoshop so that they look like this. The centering and the size should be the same. Let's upload the t-shirt image to the background layer. Now let's get back to the custom options, create a new one of the image thumbnails type and add the images for the front view and for the thumbnail. Let's create a layer for the custom option to be depicted on the live preview. Entitle the layer, choose the image recoloring type and assign the front view or any other view on which you want these layers to appear. In the settings tab, add the pick of the part that you want to be textured. Then go to Fill Pattern subsection. You can upload the pattern in here or you can upload it to the custom option that we've just created. The only difference will be the conditional logic rules which you need to set if you add the pattern inside the layer, because if you upload the pattern to the custom option, the logic rules will be needed for the textures to be shown correctly. Pay your attention to the pattern settings. You can scale the pattern, move it to the right or left, up or down, rotate left or right and flip it. The digit next to the customization is the value of the step. You can also adjust the opacity. One more thing, we're often asked how to insert the pattern into the same custom option as colors, as not all the customers are willing to divide them and instead want them to go together. Create a color thumbnail custom option then. Add some colors and add a so-called color, which will soon be a pattern. In order to add a pattern in here, click an edit color and upload the image of your pattern here for the front view and for the image thumbnail as always. Go back to layers, edit the way to the custom option from where the pattern is taken. Important, before you want to add numerous customizations into one custom option, you have to add a conditional logic rule for the builder to understand what it has to do to depict lots of your customizations correctly. Indicate the weight to the color option with the pattern. And here you go. If your pattern has a transparent background, you can both colorize images and buttons on the fly. Do not forget about the layer order. Buttons should be lowered. Enjoy!